Do you guys remember that video we made about Crunchyroll just completely blindsiding their voice actor of all the fan letters and gifts for five years to the point of even distributing those goods without letting the voice actor know to their employees. And finally, the voice actor coming out, right? Dave Wald coming out, tweeting that shit and things just going nuclear. Apparently, Crunchyroll finally responded, Rev, give it to me. In case you guys didn't see the main channel video from about a week ago, we talked about a situation involving a Funimation slash Crunchyroll voice actor named David Walt, who made some pretty serious allegations against Crunchyroll, saying mm -hmm. this, Dear friends, if you sent me anything of care from Funimation or Crunchyroll in the last five years, I apologize, I didn't get it. I learned yesterday that at Crunchyroll opened my private mail threw away your letters and passed out any included items to their staff. Now that's, that's the craziest shit where they distributed his goods, all the gifts, all the different things that his fans wanted him to get. And he didn't even know. So imagine like how the fans felt that like there was no acknowledgement of any of the gifts. Not that they needed an acknowledgement, but something like that would have been nice. He didn't even know that shit was happening. Now this is their proof from apparently someone at Crunchyroll saying, well, they were giving away my fan mail and the related merch to people within the organization before I was even receiving anything, which, if true, is mail theft. And mail theft is a pretty serious crime. Like, I didn't think it was that serious, but in that chibi video, right? What was it? Like, if someone just, like, stole, like, an Amazon package off of your porch, I'm like, would that be considered mail theft? And you guys are saying, yeah. And if so... That shit can be like, what, 250 grand? On multiple levels, the person received it. And also there is a statute uh, portion referring to people who would receive merchandise and other items from something they know is stolen through the mail. So this is a very big thing. Potential multiple felonies across the board at Crunchyroll. However, hmm. After about a week of silence, Crunchyroll has responded with this message saying, Oh boy. Anime fans have a special connection with dub voice talent, and that emotional expression is important in fueling more love of anime content. We are Yapping. currently investigating the matter regarding the allegation of undelivered fan mail to our... We are investigating? Who is investigating? Is Crunchyroll going to investigate themselves? To see if they fucked up. We need a third party to fucking handle this shit. Because if this is just a private investigation amongst themselves, what do you think is going to happen at the end? They're going to be like, hmm, we investigated ourselves and we found no fault. Wah wah. Our voice actor. We respect the privacy of all of our voice actors and do not intentionally open mail or packages not intended for Crunchyroll. We respect the privacy of all our voice actors and do not intentionally open. I mean, if you think about it from a pure business PR public relations perspective, of course, you don't want to admit fault. Of course, you don't want to just say like, we're sorry this happened and we're going to, you know, compensate everyone, you know, respectively. That's what people probably want to hear, but for them, I'm surprised they even came out with a statement. I thought that they were just going to keep silent about it in about two weeks. Just going to die off, and we're going to be talking about some other news or drama-related shit. But they're really just saying, yep, we're going to investigate ourselves, and we also have never done stuff like this, nor do we ever promote it. It's like, okay, buddy, like, no one's believing this shit. Any fan mail should be sent directly to talent and their management which honestly based on the circumstances uh seems like a bit of a cop-out right yeah because any fan mail should be sent directly to talent and their management that last line is very interesting because like what does that really signal to you guys when i read that last line especially the line of, we respect the privacy of all our voice actors and don't intentionally open mail or packages not intended for Crunchyroll, right? They 
prep this and then say it's almost kind of like victim blaming at this point of saying any fan mail should be sent directly to talent as in the voice actor or their management so this feels like the win condition that they've set up where they're going to basically blame the people that was sending all the you know fan mails and gifts to specifically Crunchyroll and in hopes that Crunchyroll would then distribute that to you know the voice actors and of course if the voice actor is working on you know with Crunchyroll and he's part of these projects then I don't think it's that unreasonable to believe that this is the way that things should be handled but since they're now pretty much just saying we don't do this shit right we've never done this shit and the fact that you even gave it to us was kind of wrong it's, it's like low-key victim blaming it's like you should have sent it to the voice actor and because you didn't something else happened and right now we're investigating that something else but at the end of the day we don't you know do this shit so it's it's a very corporate pr move of never admitting fault pointing the finger at something else and saying you should have done this instead and we're still going to investigate and see what's going to happen afterwards because uh they've been really pressed hard by this voice actor and it seems like they're trying everything in their power to deflect blame on their own mm -hmm. employees yep basically saying it's on them and we don't know yep. what's going on well yeah based on what we've seen they're trying to finally deflect the blame on the situation to people within their organization and where this goes from here well i wonder if there will be a scapegoat i wonder if someone's gonna be told that hey listen buddy you've been with us for a long while you know we fucked up we're gonna need you to take the bullet we're gonna give you a nice compensation a nice you know package you know like a golden parachute so you take the hit you're gonna take the fall you're gonna be the fall guy and crunch roll the company is cleansed of any you know corruption and all the blame will be placed on this one employee i maybe they would go that way or maybe they would just say that i mean it's it's literally impossible to prove it at this point it's five years worth of merch and gifts how could you possibly audit this right and even if it was given away maybe other Crunchyroll employees then would like then what speak up then saying oh you know i had this you know one fan art of stuff that was given to me i didn't even realize that it was for dave but i still have it and i like to you know mention that up i don't think that existing employees would ever step up in fear of their own job but ex-employees or disgruntled employees may come out and voice their opinion but seeing that this shit's happened for five years it is incredibly hard to prove anything right there's no recordings there's no hard evidence Crunchyroll can then just play dumb and say that we're investigating the issue, but at the end, they're probably going to say, you know, we ourselves are investigating into the problems that we made and we find no fault. And they'll probably blame, you know, again, the people that sent it to the wrong hands, which was Crunchyroll, rather than sending it to the fucking voice actor. So a very smart and optimized corporate public relations move. Very scummy, but this is objectively the best thing that they can probably do because admitting faults then the sharks will smell the blood in the water and even though ethically morally maybe the correct thing to do i think that that would cause more damage to them well i'm sure the voice actor involved will be pressing something in terms of their legal uh representation here and we'll just have to wait to see what happens wah, wah. and that's pretty much it more Crunchyroll L. They keep getting away with it. I don't know how the hell you guys still have a Crunchyroll subscription. But hey, please go give Rev's video a like. Here's the link and I'll see you next time.